happening today. We will hear from the NYPD about the latest on fare evasion. The number of fare beaters has been on the ride this year. Uh, today's release comes as 500 additional police officers have been assigned to patrol the city's transit system. CBS News' Andrea Klein-Thomas live in Times Square this morning with more. Andrea. Oh, Chris and Mary, fare evasion is not just a nuisance. The MTA is losing hundreds of millions of dollars. Now the governor is stepping in to do something about it. From the city's buses to the trains, there's been a dramatic increase in the number of riders who just don't pay the fare. It's expected to cost the MTA $260 million this year alone, more than double what it cost four years ago. Monday, Governor Cuomo announced plans to dispatch 500 NYPD and transit officers to 50 subway stations and 50 bus routes, where the problem is the most prevalent. Add to that an extra $40 million from forfeiture cases will come from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office to study more effective ways to deter fare evaders. It includes station improvements and enhanced video surveillance. But DA Cy Vance doesn't want offenders to be arrested. If you are an individual and you drive through an easy toll, you're not going to get arrested. You're going to get a ticket. Uh, there are thousands of people who park, double park their cars in New York City every day. They don't get arrested, they get a ticket. What's unclear to me why, as a matter of equity, if you commit a $2.75% theft, you should be prosecuted. But as of June 9th, the NYPD has made nearly 1,800 arrests and issued more than 1,200 summonses for fare evasion. Under the new plan, those who don't pay will get a $100 ticket. Still, some riders are not convinced that goes far enough to send the message to rogue riders. Anybody who's jumping the turnstiles into Vegas, Paris, they're not going to show up for a court date. They're not going to pay a ticket. And how are we going to find them? Because they're not going to give you the right name. The MTA says the goal of this new plan is to send a clear message that paying the fare is not optional. Now, the NYPD is expected to release new fare evasion statistics today to give a bigger picture of the overall impact. Reporting live in Times Square, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thank you for